guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to a brand new Liverpool Carrier Mode episode and we have a really really important episode at the moment. We are leading the Premier League table by 4 points but we play tough games against Newcastle and Man City and we also have really two uh, really important cup games. We play FA Cup and League Cup semi-final second leg against Chelsea which is going to be one of the biggest challenge because we lost the first leg 3 in nil, so it would take an absolute miracle to knock Chelsea out but I will try my best we have a massive injury crisis at the moment Declan Rice, Fabinho, Trent, Salah and Darwin Nunez are all out injured and comment of the day goes out to these guys that you can see below me on the screen thank you so much for your awesome support and also check out my new FIFA 23 gameplay channel where I will start uploading new gameplay videos and let's keep our winning run going in the Premier League we have been pretty consistent and Man City haven't been so let's keep our lead against them. This should be something to savor. The best defense in the league up against the freest scoring team in the league. Who will come out on top? It's Newcastle United. They face Liverpool. Welcome to St. James's Park. So we already lost in the league to Newcastle. 3-2 with the last 94th minute goal. But in the League Cup we have beaten them on this ground 2-0. Bellingham. Go on. Diaz. Gakpo. Great first touch and he hits the post. And I'm Hunt. No, why didn't you lift the pass, you dumb, dumb? No way. Skamaka is in. Oh, Alisson. Brilliant. Go on, Diaz. Wow, why would you pass it there? We look. Ooh, Alisson again. Go on, Diaz. What another awful clearance, but Alisson. Skamaka. Sar. Oh, Alisson again. Adam Hunt. Jota. Two. Adam Hunt, who is clean through. Adam Hunt has to finish it. Awful finish. No. No way. Alisson. What are you doing? No, Alisson, it just sounds uh, absolutely incredible, it's the Alisson show! Oh, go on, Cannon. And Jota! I can't believe it, Cannon, please! Cannon! It's another time that we... Oh, please. Gakpo! Oh my goodness, we hit the post and we hit the bar! Driven shot. They Gakpo, about that one. Cannon, please, Luis Diaz, unreal save well, by Hradetsky. You can't let him cross the ball. I told you! Jota, Gakpo, Gakpo. Cannon. Cannon, go on Cannon. Beautiful. And no, really? How did the defender intercept that? And that, that will be a goal. No. Because Skamaka. Skamaka! I can't believe it. Honestly, this is absolutely devastating. I had a chance where I was three Liverpool attackers and one defender. And instead of shooting, I thought that last pass is brilliant. It wasn't brilliant. It was an error of judgment. And from the next, the next attack, literally Newcastle score. Yes, they deserve it. They have been by far the, the best team in the first half, but I think the second half, we were knocking on the door. They could run onto it here. Go on, Simikas. Oh my goodness. Simikas. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Come on. Unbelievable. Skamaka scores another one. That's the difference. Newcastle scored their chances and we don't in the second half. Newcastle had nine shots on target in only the first half, so I can't complain. They have been better than us, but that's unlucky. Van Dijk blocks the first shot, but then Skamaka, he knees the ball up into the air and blasts it home. Our great run of results is over because Newcastle humbled us. They outplayed us pretty much. In the previous two games against 
Newcastle, we were much the better team, but once they stole a victory, so it was, the shoe was on the other foot, as they say in England, I think. And we can't really complain. Look at this! How can Newcastle create this many chances against us it's an embarrassment at liverpool this is unacceptable in the beginning of the second half we were dominating without scoring our chances at nil nil if we go one nil up or and two nil up then we win the game perhaps undeservedly but they had 14 shots on target we had two shots on target i can't believe our luck man city dropped points again so we are still three points ahead even though we lost against Newcastle but Man United took full advantage now they are five points behind us Chelsea dropped points though and the next league game is against Man City that is a massive massive football game our next game is very important against Charlton we absolutely have to beat them even with our second team so I'm changing almost the whole team except uh, Curtis Jones uh, let's beat them the FA Cup is very important this season we still haven't won a domestic cup competition in this career mode so I'm really focusing on the FA Cup as well Ooh, Chakir great save brilliant Joel Matty plays alongside Harvey. Gomez in central defense. Go on, Harvey! Tactical setup they have just Harvey Elliott! In attack. Oh, it's it saved. Go on. Konstantinos Simikas. Simikas. Ferreira. Harvey Elliott, surely! Yes! Harvey Elliott makes it 1 0 Liverpool. I waited for the defender to see what he will do. And as soon as he came towards me, I passed it to Elliott, who was wide open in the box. And the big talent, Harvey Elliott, who finally has a game face, ruthlessly finishes it off. No. No. Oh, come on. Ooh, Chuck here. That was actually an absolute rocket. Musa. Well, Liverpool haven't dominated possession as you can see. Harvey Elliott. Oh, go on. When they win the ball back, it's been, it's it's been a really good performance from them. Ferreira. Carvalho, please. Carvalho! What a goal! Fabio Carvalho sticks one into the top corner. I love that celebration as well. Oh, this is a beauty. Nice skill by Ferreira. And then Carvalho takes a couple of touches and bangs one in. Beauty! Oh no. I can't believe it. So easy. That's the first, like, really big chance for Charlton. And then they get a consolation goal. With Simikas, I lose that aerial battle. And I should have switched quicker to a defender to mark that guy in the middle. It was so obvious that that's what they will do. He's certainly got the skill and character to be a real star. Musa. Harvey Elliott. Beautiful! And it's saved! Go on, Thiago, please. Stick it, stick one in, Thiago. Oh, saved by the keeper. Energetic, but unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team. Can't buy your brilliant turn. And it's spin! And it's finished! The game is over because Jesus Ferreira, I so, I'm sorry if I did, uh, if I said Carvalho, turns the defender and smashes it home. Superb block. Are you kidding me? I didn't know where the ball was for a second. Adam Hunt. Look at, look at Elliot in the box. And Luis Diaz thumps it home. Now that's how you finish. It's a ruthless goal. And we knock Charlton out ruthlessly. And to be fair, they are in League One, I think, or, or in the Championships. Oh, what a smacking finish by Luis Diaz. I love this goal. First time, bangs it in, top corner. Look at the Liverpool fans, how much they are celebrating that we are through to the FA Cup fifth round. And I wanted to take this competition seriously seriously but I hope that we can avoid some of the big themes going forward and I think we thoroughly outplayed and dominated Charlton as we should because we have a much much better team than them so this was a much improved performance from that Newcastle debacle and Jesus Ferreira with a goal and two assists was the man of the match so let's see what the other big teams did in the FA Cup Chelsea went through as expected and Everton knocked out Newcastle so Newcastle are out Man City 
are through, but Arsenal and Man United need a draw against pretty weak opposition away from home, so let's hope one of them gets knocked out. This next game we need an absolute monumental heroic comeback if we have any chance to reach the final. This is the second leg, we are 3-0 down from the first leg, so we have nothing to lose basically in the second leg and everything to gain. It is a game of massive significance, only four teams remain in the hunt for the Carabao Cup. Who's going to come out on top in this semi-final? It is Chelsea, they face Liverpool and it's coming up live on EA TV next. Welcome to the League Cup semi-final second leg. Frank Lampard's TIFO is out and Chelsea already have one foot in the final. But let's try and cause a miracle comeback. Luis Diaz. Jota. Diaz is in, but he misses it. Jota to Bellingham. Oh. And Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz. That's one bad. Let's get the ball and let's try to score three or four goals. That's a brilliant shot by Bellingham and Diaz is there to tuck in the rebound. Lovely finish from a very, very tight angle. Jota. Bellingham. Go on, Bellingham. Ah, Come on, Cannon. Oh, yes, Konate. Go on, Gakpo. Curtis Jones. And Bellingham. Oh, and Diaz, surely! Lewis Diaz, it's two! We have one goal that we need, and then it's level on aggregate. Lewis Diaz, the goal against Charlton, it looks like reignited his season because now he has two goals in this game. No way, Kai Havertz attempted an acrobatic. Don't leave your man, Cannon. Cunha is wide open. He goes in. Oh, but I got back. Oh, who should I mark? Konate. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is really, really painful because I felt that I had uh, enough chances to score three or more goals. Defensively, we were rock solid today. Yes, Chelsea in the post, but otherwise they didn't really create much. But probably the first leg was what knocked us out because to lose 3-0 in the first leg, we gave us too much of a mountain to climb here. Even though we pretty much dominated the whole game. Chelsea had zero shots on target. Now that is a first <laughs> that I... I did that against the big team. Luis Diaz was the man of the match, but it just wasn't to be, so Chelsea go through to the League Cup final. And as expected, Man City smashed Southampton in the second leg, so I'm really gutted to say it will be a Chelsea-Man City final between two of, two of the richest clubs in English football, and I'm gutted that we couldn't make it back-to-back -back League Cup finals. I really wanted to win the League Cup after we lost to Brighton last season. This next game could literally decide Side the title. I know it's very early still in the season. If we could go six points clear of Man City, that would be a massive advantage to us. Man City built an absolutely monstrous team. They literally have no weak weakness, maybe they're right back, but uh, we are the underdogs here, definitely. But Fabinho is back from his injury, but let's try and get a victory at the Etihad. Two sides who have really come to know the significance of these head-to-head -head battles, Manchester City and Liverpool. They're about to go at it again, and we simply cannot wait to see what unfolds. Welcome to the Etihad! The Ederson T4 looks pretty spectacular, and I'm really, really hoping that we can get the victory here and Jurgen Klopp is watching on I love this oh man no Konate oh, what are you doing guys Davis oh Alisson saves it surely he won't shoot from there he does but Alisson oh my goodness Timber Ferrati Holland, oh great block, fabulous block. Go on, Nunez. Darin Nunez, what a mistake by the defense! 
defender! Somehow he lets Darwin Nunez through! That is a colossal mistake! And Darwin Nunez punishes Man City with our first big chance! He buries it! Marquinhos! One of the biggest mistakes of his career! No. Don't! Don't! Haaland! Oh jeez! Luis! Bernardo Silva! Oh! Go and go! Darwin Nunez turns the defender and he buries it! That's our literally our second shot of the game! And we are leading 2-0. Man City had like 9 shots so far. This is the literal definition of smash and grab. If you look up the dictionary you will see Liverpool smash and grab against Man City. This game, brilliant turn. Marquinhos just can't handle Darwin Nunez. He rolled him once again. Davis. Ferrati. Surely not. Haaland. Ferrati can't. You can't handle them. It's just they, they are too good. Ferrati and Haaland combined brilliantly. I had one defender there, Konate, so I just couldn't. They isolated Konate brilliantly here, and I just couldn't do anything. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Oh my goodness. Davis is just too fast. And Haaland to Rafa. Oh, they hit the bar. No, I can't even hold the ball up with Darwin Nunez, who is literally the best at doing that. Haaland, he will cut it back. I knew it. Gomez, just clear the ball. What? And will it be the level out? Oh, come on. I just... Okay. Defending, but brilliant defending. No! I pressed fast with Darwin Nunez. And straight away, Rafa, clear the ball. Yes, Gomez, what a tackle, Gomez. The pressure that Man City is putting us under is incredible. Haaland. Haaland, oh my goodness, what a block. And Alisson has to make another incredible save. I'm literally physically and mentally exhausted. What what a defensive performance by us. We held off Man City after going 2-0 up with two brilliant counter-attacks. But this was the definition of a smash and grab victory. I told you guys, Man City played us off the park. They created loads of, loads of amazing chances. Look at the dominance that they had. But is it, it is Liverpool, it is us who win this game. Nine shots on target that Man City had. We only had two, but that's all we needed. We win the game 2-1. And it wasn't Darwin Nunez who was the man of the match, amazingly, but Phil Foden. Wow, that's weird. And finally, Konate's rating went up again. Uh, this is the first time this season, so now he's an 86 rated player. But if you check to his development plan, he won't grow a lot after this. What a massive, massive massive win that was against Man City we, because we opened up a six point gap and because Man United couldn't beat West Ham they don't overtake Man City and jump to second place Tottenham won and that's important for them but Chelsea lost to Newcastle so Newcastle with a really good chance to finish in the top four and Chelsea's dreadful season continues Crystal Palace, Middlesbrough and Leeds United are in the relegation zone but Wolves and Burnley and even Brentford and Nottingham Forest are still in a scrap to avoid relegation. Huminson has 18 goals but Jota has 17 and now Nunez has 14 after his double against Man City. Diaz has 7 goals as well. Jota has the most assists in the league which is brilliant. Bellingham and Darwin Nunez also uh, getting 8 assists each is pretty remarkable and Cody Gakpo and Elliot are also getting assists which is nice and we literally have no goalkeeper in the Kirishi department but I don't mind if I win the title. Diogo Jota is our top scorer still with 24 goals unless he 
he gets injured, I don't think anybody is catching him. Nunez has 17, so our two main strikers are scoring the goals. But now Diaz has 12 goals, which is really, really nice. And yeah, I'm waiting for Salah to come back because he's our other main attacker. I'm really disappointed with Cody Gakpo. He only has three goals in 22 games. Literally, Ferreira, Adam Hunt, Carvalho, who are a lot worse than Cody Gakpo, have less goals than Gakpo. So Gakpo is struggling in, in real life and in his career mode as well. The next episode is going to be a cracker. Man United and Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. That is going to be some fiery, fiery games. Really looking forward to it. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye.